equations. Who knows? Oh, oh, oh hey, hey, Ben. <laughs> Sorry, I just, you know, came out to Thanks, freshen up your drink. Oh, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, you're such a helpful and important part of our show, Ben. But I feel like we don't know that much about you. I wish, like, I guess I wish I could know your story. Like, who are you, man? Gee, no one's really ever asked me that before. <laughs> uh, you know what? I really need this water and I need a break. And you have the audience to let you go. Know, go ahead, tell your story. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, uh... I was born a Hollywood baby, the, uh, the son of Richard Grieco from 21 Jump Street, and uh, a quiet, nerdy girl from The Breakfast Club, she was my mom. As an 80s kid, I loved cartoons. Real big toon head. A little too big, if my psychiatrist are to be believed. I thought they were real, and the popularity of the movie Cool World didn't do anything to help. I fell madly in love with Betty Boop and ran away from home to be with her, whether she liked it or not. I make her love me. Well, I never found her, but I did find a drink. I was a full-blown Bukowski-ass drunk by the age of six. In fact, I knew Bukowski. I wrote most of... Hell. No need for full modesty here. I wrote all of his books and poems. I knew it. He stole all my ideas. So I murdered him and pretended to be him for years. A real talented Mr. Ripley, sitch. You motherfuckers, there's seven film references, you dig? <laughs> well, eventually the Hollywood Foreign Press found out. And I had to flee my cush digs. On the run for murder and Bukowski and Haunted by my alcoholic demons, I knew I needed an alias, uh, uh, a cover to, to walk amongst you. <laughs> you, you normal, you normal sheep, just, just barn around the ground with your jobs and, and your mortgage payments. <laughs> So I, I got this vest with the Canterbury Tales written on it. <laughs> Bought these fake ass glasses that I don't fucking need. Grew my hair to community college professor length. <laughs> and got a job writing monologue jokes for this whatever this is show. <laughs> All the while waiting patiently for the chance where I could sweetly and passionately face up my dear, dear Betty Boop. <laughs> hey Ben, could you get off the stage? <laughs> no problem. No. Thanks a lot guys. The crazy thing is, that's one of the more, more normal backstories of our cast. <laughs> Nadia's married. Yeah, what a weirdo. Oh.